With a recent change in front-end setup in Laravel, from Mix, which was an abstraction on top of Webpack, to Vue's feed, some of the install commands on my package were no longer working, and I thought it was time for a revisit there. I have already done the work and tagged the releases on all of them, but I thought it would be a cool idea to walk you through installing them using the new install scripts. We are going to start with the rich text Laravel package. I've got a fresh Laravel 9 application over here using Jetstream. And of course it uses Vt. So let's run the dev command to compile our assets and you know start the Vt dev server. Now we should be able to go back to the application, refresh and register a new account. I'm going to register my own user. And yeah, so far so good. We have Alpine over here. Everything seems to be working and yeah. Okay. Let's install the rich text Laravel package. We're going to the terminal and type composer require. Now we should be able to run PHP artisan rich text install, which should do most of the work for us. We can see the changes that the command did by running git status and git diff only in the resources folder. And we can see that it appended a line over here in our main app CSS file to import the tricks styles. And also it added a line over here in the main app JS file to import the tricks lib. And it also updated our layouts file to include the rich text tricks styles tag. And that's it actually. If we go back to our dev server, we can see that it's complaining that of, about the missing tricks. And that's because we are missing one step over here, which the command told us about, which is like, we, we need to run this command. So let's stop the vit dev server and run npm install and start it again. And now we are okay. So let's go to the browser. Before we go to the browser, actually, let's go to the dashboard view and let's update this section to add a div p6 and the command publishes a tricks field component that we can use. So let's use that. We should be able to use it like tricks field and specifying an ID and a name attribute. And now let's go to the browser, refresh, and we should be able to see the tricks editor over here. And we do. So that means the package is successfully installed. And that's all you need to install the package now. I hope you appreciate the amount of automation going on there. This install command should also work if your application is using Mix, by the way. We're going to install Turbo now. Let's now commit what we have. Okay, let's install the Turbo Laravel package. The process is relatively the same. So let's install the Tony, if I can type Turbo. And then we are running the PHP artisan tool install, but we are passing the stimulus flag. So we want to install stimulus. We are also passing the jet flag because we are in a jet stream application. So let's run it. And that's, that should be it actually. Again, we need to install some front end dependencies and restart the feed server. So let's do that. And again, we should be able to see the the changes that the package made by running git diff in the resources folder. And we can see that it added a couple JS files over here, some imports. And it also, because this is a Jetstream application and uses Livewire, we included the Livewire TubeLinks bridge. We also added the Livewire styles and Livewire scripts in the TubeLinks bridge to the guest layout. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And if we open over here, our resources folder, you can see that there is a bunch of controllers and there's elements, libs, everything that we need to get to be working with Jetstream. That actually should be it. So let's go to the browser and let's refresh. We are going to open the dev tools and we are going to type Turbo. As you can see, we have a Turbo object over here, which means that Turbo was successfully installed and it's running. So if we open the network tab, and we filter the fetch requests and we start changing pages, we should see that this was actually a fetch request, not a full 
page refresh. And that means that Tubo is successfully hijacking the clicks and page switches and all that. Yeah, so Tubo is installed in this application with a single command. And that's it. We have successfully installed Tubo on a fresh Laravel application using Vite. This process is way, way better than it was before, so I hope you enjoyed. Let's finish it off by switching our front-end setup from using Vite to using import map Laravel and Tailwind CSS. Now let's commit what we have and move on to the next package. Let's install the import map package. So we are stopping, let me stop the dev server because we are not going to need it anymore. I'm gonna close this tab and then we are running composer require to NSM. For this package, I'm requiring the main branch because there is a fix that I haven't tagged, but yeah, I'm gonna do that before publishing the video. Then we can run php artisan import map install. As you can see, one of these steps is it's spinning our dependencies from npm. So this is actually reading our package.json, merging our dev and production dependencies, filtering out some dependencies that are usually, you know, included for building and bundling. So the dependencies that only serves Vit or a lot of our mix, and it's actually adding those dependencies to your routes import map. So if we open that up routes import map, we can see that all the dependencies that our application was using were ported to the import map. So we don't have actually have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, as it, it says also that the configuring the symlink was done. So if we check the config folder, we can see that there is a new line over here, which configures the public slash JS folder to be a symlink to the resource JS folder only in local development. And yeah, it did a lot of things as well as like it deleted all the JS specific, the NPM specific files. So we don't need that anymore. It also updated our layout file. Let's take a look at that. Oh, okay. So it also converted some of the imports that were using the dot slash to not needing that anymore. So we don't actually need it anymore. And it switched the feet line to the import map tags. This also got rid of the, C the styles for applications. So we'll take a look at that in a second. It is the same for the guest layout. And that's it actually. Now let's run the storage link command. But before we do that, let's make sure there is no public JS folder. And now we can run the artisan storage link. That should create the same link for us. Before we are able to test this in the browser, we need to pull the Tailwind CSS package to handle our styles, otherwise our app would be naked. That's because previously Vite was managing both the JS and the CSS builds. Let's now require the Tailwind CSS package. Require Tailwind, oh, it's actually Tony SM. Tailwind CSS, Laravel. If I can type composer. And I'm gonna run PHP artisan tailwind CSS build. Oh, actually install. Sorry about that. And this should download the correct tailwind CLI for my operating system and my CPU architecture. And it also updates the layouts and you know adds a couple lines to the ignore file to the git ignore file. It runs the first build for our application using tailwind CSS CLI. So if we check the resources folder we can see over here that it added a line to our layout before the head tag to include the CSS styles using the tailwind function, tailwind CSS function. And it did the same for the guest layout. So that should be it actually. There's one thing that I wanted to do before showing in the browser, which is if we take a look at the import, some of them are correct, but our current implementation of this fix is naive. It doesn't work all the time for all the imports. So we have to do some manual work there. Like the hello over here is importing, was importing a local file, but it's in a controllers folder. And when you're using import map, you have to map, you have to specify the folder within the thing that you're importing. So this will not work. So let's fix that. And this one should be fine. The index one should be using controllers like this. 
and also the stimulus, it's using the dot dot slash. This is currently not supported by this, the install script that migrates from one thing to another, from this button to using import maps, but I want to include it. I will include it in a future version. I think it's possible. So for now, take a look at your imports and fix the things that are not actually working. Now we should be able to go to the browser, refresh the app, and everything should still be working, which is, if you ask me, that's amazing actually. So we have the import map config over here, which register the import maps for our application. We also have the preloads that we are using, and we also have the import of the entry point. So our application is currently working with import maps and Livewire, Alpine, Stimulus. And let's make sure that this Stimulus is actually working. Let's go to the dashboard and we ship with a hello controller. And we can see that it's actually working by specifying the controller there. And we are using the connected controller. So, so yeah, it works. Let's finish off by committing what we have so far. All right. That's what I wanted to show you. I've tried to automate as much as I could from the installation process in this new install scripts. As you can see, there aren't that many steps left for you to run when installing the packages in a fresh Laravel application. Of course, in a real app, you would run into more complicated scenarios, but I hope you were able to figure it out. And feel free to drop a message or create an issue in one of the packages if you find something not working for you. Also, this process should work the same in Laravel Breeze installation. The only difference would be that in the tube install command, you would use the dash dash alpine flag instead of the dash dash jet. The difference between those two flags is that the dash dash jet also updates the layouts to add the live wire to the bridge, but we don't need that in a fresh Breeze installation. And that's it. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.